country. There is uh, a palpable excitement as far as Chandrayaan 3 is concerned as we are inching closer to for the touchdown. But tonight on the This Is Exclusive, we're getting to you a special guest. This entire mission which all began, the Lunar Mission Study Task Force, and the very fact that we had pretty much achieved uh, in terms of the goals that were set by Vikram Sarabhai at the very time when Mr. G. Madhavan Nair had taken over. Mr. Nair, thank you very much for joining us on this uh, special broadcast. I want to take uh, our viewers back to 2003 when you took over as the chairman of uh, ISRO. That's when the Lunar Mission Study Task Force actually began and finally that meeting that you had with the former Prime Minister Atul Bihari Vajpayee and Chandrayaan 1 was envisaged. I want you to tell our viewers the journey and why exactly was the Lunar Mission of India so very important? Why did you, when you met the Prime Minister, insist that perhaps India should invest not only time and resources but also plan ahead and even perhaps think of being ahead of NASA and the, the European Space Agency? Uh, well, uh, you have given partly the answers to the question itself. Uh, as you are aware, uh, Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, the wish in mastering this technology of space and then applying it for the benefit of the common man. Uh, in 2000, uh, when we took a review, uh, already most of such goals have been achieved. And what next has been the question before us? Uh, certainly, even early days, we were doing a little bit of uh, uh, resources were spent on <clears throat> uh, uh, ionospheric studies and uh, studying the stars and galaxies and so on using the spacecrafts. Uh, but uh, the question came, why not we go much deeper into the fundamental understanding of the universe? And that's how a study team was constituted with uh, Dr. George Joseph as chairman. Dr. Kasturingan was the chairman at the time. And uh, this report was available to me when I took over. Uh, of course, uh, then uh, uh, I, uh, after my uh, briefing to the prime minister, he was uh, really enthused. He said that, uh, yes, we should have a closer understanding of the moon. Of course, he was uh, really uh, citing uh, how our ancient uh, Vedic uh, texts, etc., has described about the moon and uh, the possibilities and so on. And uh, uh, then, of course, uh, uh, on the lighter side, he said the moon looks so beautiful uh, from the ground. And as you go closer, and uh, have a close pictures. I don't know what uh, images you will get. Uh, 